Nobody's happy about this. Neither am I. But it happened. You know, I'm sure a lot of people, whether it be media, fighters, friends who had respect for me, might not have respect for me now. When you think of MMA, there's one fighter that always comes to your mind. And I'm talking about the king himself, John Jones, the unbeatable force, the man who's dominated the heavyweight division for as long as we know. But you can't be a champion forever. And the talk of the town is that Jones might be seeking retirement after one epic clash. I mean, you can't really blame the guy. Fighting for the UFC isn't really sunshine and rainbows. I mean, if there's one thing we know about UFC is that they pay peanuts. And it's become more of an issue, especially now nasty emails have been leaked regarding fight contracts. And let's just say it involves your favorite fighter, John Jones. And oh boy, wasn't Dana White completely losing it? He got slammed, and rightfully so. If you're going to play the villain when it comes to contracts and negotiations, you can't expect the fight world to praise you. Oh no, they're going to take shots at you. And so they did. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. When the nasty emails regarding fighter negotiations surfaced the internet, the fight world got sent into a frenzy. I mean, those emails had all the tea. Dana White got exposed. I mean, what else do you expect? In the disclosed emails, White expressed his satisfaction in utilizing cutthroat, nasty business tactics to retain fighters within the UFC roster. Yep, that's right. And we thought Thanos was evil. Well, hated to break it you, but Dana White is much more evil. And the MMA legend, Nate Diaz, got the worst of it. Did you know that UFC lowballed Nate Diaz? As much as crazy as it sounds, that did happen. Now, if a fighter like Nate Diaz is being lowballed, you can only imagine what the other fighters are going through. He was sent cheap offers to fight in the UFC. I mean, we know UFC doesn't pay big bucks, but this was really low for someone like Nate Diaz. We're talking about an event headliner. I mean, he made millions of dollars just by fighting Jake Paul in the ring. That's what this MMA superstar's worth is. But here in the UFC, Dana White gave him three choices. Either accept the altered six-fight deal, compete for the title with a compensation of just $45,000 to show, and $45,000 to win or face removal from the title bout altogether. All of which sounds absolutely horrible. But it's not like he's got any other option. UFC is maze. Once you're in, you're not getting out. And if you don't believe me, ask the heavyweight legend John Jones. In the leaked emails, it was revealed that UFC possibly extended John's contract for declining a fight with Alexander Gustafsson. Yep, the UFC can do whatever at this point. If you thought fighters were only battling in the octagon, well, you thought wrong. The real fight is behind the scenes. Back in 2014, Jones was approached to defend his title against Alexander Gustafsson once more. Well, we all knew Bones was not going to entertain that matchup, and so he didn't. I mean, he already beat the guy. Why fight him twice? It makes no sense. But if makes sense to Dana White, you can't really question it. This didn't sit right with him. So he played brutal like he always does. He extended Jones's contract. It doesn't come as a surprise why Bones is dissatisfied with his contract. I mean, if I were him, I'd be furious. This is what the heavyweight champion had to say about all this. I mean, sometimes life is unfair like that. You gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes people close to you want the worst for you. You gotta watch out, man, especially in the UFC. Oh, look at John Jones taking digs at Dana White. Well, it's not the first time he's done that. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse for John Jones, well, it certainly did. See, now we're getting onto the juicy part. Buckle up, fight world. This one's gonna knock your socks right off. John Jones is being stripped off his title. Yep, that's right. They took the internet by storm and it's got the pros talking. I mean, no fighter couldn't take the title from him, so what else can they do? Steal the title? Well, that's exactly what they're doing. The one and only Tom Aspinall is the mastermind behind this evil plan. He's been eyeing that heavyweight title since day one. And if you can't beat Jones to take it, you gotta turn to other ways. Or should I say nastier ways? And Aspinall surely did. Just take a look at what this fighter said. I think John Jones should be stripped from the title, to be honest, because everyone else does when they get injured like that. I don't see why he still got it. I don't understand that. Aspinall continued. I should be the real champion right now. Wow, now that's a lot of talk coming from a guy who got knocked out 15 seconds into the fight. Injuries are pretty common in this sport. I mean, it's MMA. You got two guys coming in to take each other's head off. Everyone gets injured here. Doesn't mean you strip them of their titles. If that's not unfair, then I don't know what is. Plus, there are other guys who are more worthy of that title than Aspinall. Jones wasn't too happy about this. 
In a recent interview, he said, I've faced the absolute toughest competition this world had to offer for 15 years now. During camp for a title defense, I sustained a major injury that required surgery for the first time in my career. Now I have newcomers requesting I get my championship stripped. Zero wins over legends, zero title defenses, and already thinking you can call the shots to Dana, that's hilarious. If there's ever been a man who deserves all the titles, it's John Jones. He's the face of MMA, the star of the show. Ain't no way Dana White will let his most priceless fighter walk around without a title. That ain't good for the business. So White had to intervene, and so he did. He shut down Aspinall's talk. He hinted a fight for Jones in the near future, removing any doubts of him hanging up his title. He said, the Stipe fight has to happen. You know, both of those guys deserve it. You've got the greatest mixed martial artist of all time versus the greatest heavyweight of all time. And they've paid their dues. They've done the thing. These two want to fight each other. It's going to happen. Whoever wins, we'll see what they decide to do after that, and we'll go from there. Well, Dana White, I hate to break it to you, but this fight announcement doesn't change the fact that Jones is injured. You can make all the buzz you want, but what's the point if your fighter isn't in the state to step into the octagon? This was a huge problem, and obviously it had everyone talking about it, especially the pros, and some of these reactions are going to shock you. Just look at what Danny Cormier had to say. He's in favor of stripping John Jones off of his title. DC claims no one would even bat an eye if John Jones got stripped. I mean, I don't know about that. The fans are going to be furious if he does get his title taken. In a recent interview, he said, Jones and Stipe don't need the title to be on the line, they can just fight and that's enough. Call it for the greatest of all time. It doesn't matter. Create a belt. I mean, that's a good point. But the only reason Dana White suggested this fight was so Jones could keep his title. Danny Cormier didn't just stop here. Oh no, he added. Tom Aspinall is the guy that's going to lead the heavyweight division for years to come. So yes, I believe that he should be the undisputed champ. Jones is the undisputed champion. He earned that in the octagon by beating Cyril Gain. But if he's only going to fight Stipe, and that's not for another, what, eight months, seven months? I think you put Tom Aspinall as the champ? Wow. I mean, I wasn't DC to praise Tom like that. But hey, life is full of surprises, isn't it? Deep down, they all just want Jones to be gone. Well, not everyone. Oh, you're going to have a hard time believing this one. Anthony Smith feels John Jones deserves his flowers. Yep, John's biggest enemy is backing him up. Now who saw that one coming? Smith said, You know how I feel about John Jones? I hate when you guys ask me questions where I have to say nice things about him. John Jones can do whatever he wants. Let's just let him heal up. I know it makes absolutely no sense for there to be an interim champion and John to defend against someone who's not, but we're not like other sports. We can kind of change the rules sometimes and just give the fans and the people what they want. Yep, he's not wrong. The idea is to entertain people. And you can't do that without your man, John Jones. That's just facts. Guess we'll have to just wait and see how this one plays out. So there you have it. Fight World. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to like this video, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.